Hi, and welcome to another live Velocity session. This is day number five of five in this week's Velocity Sessions trainings. Really excited that you guys are here as every day. Today is a really, really special day because we're going to be creating a Facebook ad live. I'm going to go ahead and go into my account. I'm gonna show you how we put up a video, how we pick the targeting, run the ad, how we get everything up and going, and we're gonna do it all live here today. It's gonna be a really fun one to cap off this week. So with that said, let's go ahead, jump into the intro, and I'll see you guys in just a second. We believe that your dreams, goals, and ambitions are too important to push off until tomorrow. And we know that the fire inside of you needs to be unleashed so you can make a difference in people's lives. That's why we want you to create and build your business at warp speed. This is the Velocity Sessions. And welcome back to day number five uh, as we've been going live every single day this week. It's been a heck of a lot of fun and uh, it doesn't mean that we're going to stop doing this stuff. It just means that uh, we did a, a big promo, a big push today and it's really cool seeing some of the folks live. Everybody who's live right now, Patty, uh, big congratulations, joined Velocity. Uh, we got Peter who's a member of Velocity. Uh, we got Terry who is a member. So like I love that like all the members are also coming here and still hanging out and, and learning a lot from what we are doing. Uh, uh, but this is uh, the final day uh, to join as a founding member of Velocity, where you can get all the the, the fancy stuff. Uh, you get 12 months of coaching instead of 12 weeks of coaching, uh, and you get the $1,000 discount. Um, let me see if I can find that thing, because uh, I don't, I'm not, obviously not in the fancy studio today. I'm in the fancy, fancy bedroom here today. Um, and so uh, I don't have my fancy, you know, switcher thing that I use. So I think this is it. Yep. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Looks like you can. Uh, but if you text Velocity to 321-326-9910, my team is on that right now and uh, they will help you to get enrolled into Velocity before the 5 o'clock deadline today. So I'd love for you guys to take advantage of that. 12 months of coaching with me, the 12 weekly lessons that come out every single week. Uh, that give you the five skills in velocity. I'll tell you more about that later. Uh, but for now, if you're interested in that program before the deadline today, 321-326-9910. But we are here today to talk about ads and getting a Facebook ad up and running. And I'm going to make this super simple. Um, I like, while I like speed, I like doing things fast. You Yesterday you saw the funnel and you saw that there was some, some complexity and things like that in, in the funnel. I love keeping things simple. How can I create a message and get it in front of the people that I can help? And how can I do that as fast and efficiently as possible? So what I don't want you to do, and this is something uh, Lisa Minette's commented on this before, uh, some other folks is like, you know, they get down this road where they're spending like seven hours in Facebook ads, like going crazy. I'm going to put this ad up in minutes and just go in and just, now, A, I know where to go, but B, we don't want to do too many different things in, in, in this. We want to keep it simple. How can I show a piece of content or an ad to my target audience? How can I get them to respond? That is all that we want to do. Now, there's a couple, obviously, things that we want to do to enhance that and, and improve the conversion and, and all of that good stuff. But let's keep it simple of what we actually want to do. So I think that it will be uh, it'll be pretty, pretty good uh, today. Uh, and Peter, man, Peter's on point. Don't forget to mention who won yesterday's prize because I want to win again. Um, so what we did uh, is we are congratulating two uh, folks who joined Velocity yesterday and they're going to win the prize and that is uh, Jobin here. So uh, hit me up. Uh, she joined Velocity yesterday. So send me your information. Uh, email it to greg at ambitious.com. And also Patty joined yesterday. So I'm going to hook both of you guys up. I like rewarding people who, who take action. Uh, so uh, Patty and Jobin, if you guys will send me an email, greg at ambitious.com with your address. Uh, when I get back to the studio on Monday, I'll make sure that uh, I send that out to you guys. Um, and I'm going to change microphones and see if that works because I was just using my computer microphone and I didn't even know. So, um, so uh, yeah, so Patty, Jovan, if you guys will email me, greg at ambitious.com with your uh, address, we will mail out the prize from yesterday, which was, uh, I think it was the course that I did with Brian Tracy, um, 
uh, Michael Gerber and Tommy Hopkins. So um, so we'll send that out to you guys. So uh, we'll get that out to you guys uh, on Monday when I get back into the office. And hey, welcome to uh, Velocity. Appreciate you guys being in and jumping in before the deadline. I love uh, you know uh, you know we got to uh, we got to represent and we got to take care of people who do the things that that I want them to do. Not because of any other reason than now we're going to be able to push your comfort zone to make sure that you you get the results that you desire right you you're pushing yourself so i'm going to push myself to make sure that we really help you out if you guys are interested in that um text uh velocity to 321-326-9910 all right so that is the minutes from yesterday so what I'm going to go ahead and do uh, is we're going to go over to the fancy um, uh, iPad again. Let's see if I can get that on the screen. Um, there we go. And we don't have picture in picture, do we? Boom. I don't want it like that. There we go. All right. So what we have here uh, is uh, on the Facebook ad. So we're going to draw out a little of what we're trying to do here with the Facebook ad. And again, what we are doing today is you're going to see me launch this ad live. So if you were on Monday's stream, what we were doing on Monday was we created a lot of videos and we created them fast. So we have these videos and these videos are, uh, we call them snackables, right? But they're 90 seconds to three minutes. There's good value in them. They maybe address a problem or a question that the marketplace has. And then there is a call to action in the video. And the call to action is, hey, if you like this video, you probably like this thing. You would probably like uh, you know, this uh, free report that I have, or you would like this other video that I have, or maybe you wanna schedule a coaching call with me or something like that. So we have this snackable video. Now, what we're gonna do with this snackable video uh, and something that we teach in Velocity is distribution right this video does you no good if it just sits in a dropbox folder or in a google drive so with distribution what we're going to do is we're going to put this up on our facebook business page has to go up on the facebook business page to do what we're about to talk about here today but it's got to go up on a facebook business page um we're likely also going to put it up on instagram we're going to put it up on the youtubes we're going to put it up on linkedin we're going to put it up on twitter so we're going to have this video in all of these different places now that's cool that is a great start that we want to have our video on all of these different places like that's pretty cool but here's the problem if you only have like 300 followers on twitter you know, your video is not going to get seen by very many people. It's not going to go viral. It's not going to, you know, nothing's going to happen to it. You know, on LinkedIn, maybe you've got like a thousand connections there, but do all thousands see the video? Of course not, right? Uh, on your Facebook business page, maybe you only have like 20 people that like your page. Uh, I know that because I was just talking to a financial advisor this morning who's like, you know, Greg, we just started the page. We got like 20 people that like it. Well, what we need to do and what we're talking about here in this video is we need to advertise. Right, so we are going to spend money to get this video over here. We're gonna spend money to get this video seen. But here's the deal. We are only going to pay Facebook when a perfect prospect watches it. This is important because we're not just going to give Facebook money randomly. And let me get me out of the way so you can see that. We're only going to pay Facebook when the perfect prospect watches. So if your perfect prospect, let's just say you're a financial advisor in this case, is you know uh, 55 to 65 you know, in that pre-retiree range, they live within 10 miles of the office, um, that might be the only parameters that you do. You might do something else. You might say that they have children out of the home um you know maybe they're married um you know maybe they live in a certain zip code but you know there's other qualifiers that we might do but let's just say for sake of conversation like this this is our marketplace we're only going to pay facebook when a 55 to 65 year old within 10 miles watches your video so if some kid watches your video or someone from you know eight cities over watches your video you're not going to be charged um, now that person could incidentally see it because maybe the video was shared or they came across your page. Totally cool, but we're not gonna pay for that. We're only gonna pay Facebook when our perfect prospect watches. And right now, what we're seeing is an average of about two cents to get someone to watch your video. So if you could pay two cents to get a perfect prospect to watch your video, I would hope that you would want to do that, right? Uh, because with TV, you can't think about like a TV ad or a radio ad, right? So if, if you know, you had a TV commercial that was running right now, 
anyone and everyone could see it, even though you targeted like the view, because that's like mostly women viewers. Well, it doesn't mean that maybe it's on in a waiting room uh, at a doctor's office and there's random people watching it. That's not your perfect prospect. Uh, maybe, you know, it's my seven year old son who's just like flipping channels on the TV. Like he's not your perfect prospect. We're only going to spend money when our perfect prospect watches our video. So that's conceptually what we are going to do here today. And I know this thing is like all in the way, but Hopefully you guys get that. So we're going to take one of our videos, one of the videos that hopefully you guys created earlier this week. We're going to put it onto our Facebook business page, and then we're going to advertise that video to get our perfect prospects to see it. Now in this video, we have a call to action. So yes, we are trying to get, you know, whatever this is. So this could be, you know, this could be a lead. Um, this could be a sale or like a customer. So that's what I'm going for in my videos is we are going to try to generate a customer. So I'm going to try and sell the ambitious video planner uh, is what we're doing. Um, so we're going to go through and I'm going to show you how I'm going to post this video. Then we're going to advertise this video. And this might be the shortest lesson of the week because all we're going to do is those two things. And we're going to do it pretty quickly. And then I'll answer some questions and things that you guys have. And then obviously I'll tell you a little bit more about velocity if you have not joined because I want you to join because the deadline is today at 5 p.m. So that's what we have going on. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, I'm going to come back here to the uh, full screen and then we are going to go over to the uh, Firefox. Um, so uh, here is uh, one of our pages. This is the page that I'm going to put it on because this is the page we advertise on um, for a lot of different reasons that I'm not going to get into today. Uh, but this is the page that we you know, run our ads through. This is where our ads account is set up. So two things is uh, I recommend that you have a business manager account. Just Google Facebook business manager and create an account. You'll hook up your personal profile to your business page and you'll also be able to have an ads account. And that tells Facebook that all these things are connected and then you get all of their tools. One of the biggest mistakes that you can make is boosting a post. Boosting a post is equivalent to like remnant space. So if you've ever run like newspaper ads or magazine ads or even TV or, or radio in the past, uh, remnant space is what they have left over uh, that they didn't sell and they just stick people in there at the last minute. So, you know, let's say a newspaper is about to go to print and, you know, it's all laid out by the editor and everything. And there's like two ad spots that, that the ad team didn't sell. Well, now that ad team's going to go, hey, I'm going to print in, you know, 30 minutes. Can you send me an ad and we'll give it to you for $100 instead of $1,000? And it's remnant space because it's the space that's left over after all the sales team goes and sells their stuff. Well, same thing for Facebook. So uh, the boosted posts are essentially inventory that hasn't been sold and they just need to pipe in whatever they got and put you into there. So don't boost your post. You also don't get to take advantage of all the targeting options, all the different uh, conversion options, all the different outcomes that you want for your ads when you run it as a boosted post. So moral of the story, don't boost your posts. Um, what we wanna do is we wanna go into Facebook Business Manager. So let me go back uh, and pull this up uh, so Facebook business manager and that's where we want to run the ad from and this is also where I manage my page from so I can manage comments and I can manage uh, notifications and messages and like do all of that here it's just a much better way and it's also the way Facebook wants you to use their stuff so the first thing that we're gonna do here this isn't rocket science um, but as we are doing this we're, we're taking remember uh, so let me go back to uh, this guy here that's not what I wanted uh, let me see how can I get back to uh, the good old so if you remember here we're taking our snackable video and we're actually putting it on our business page so before we ever run the ad like we want to organically have our video on our page so we want to just go to our page and we want to just put our video up all right so that's the first thing that i am going to do so we're here on the page so this is the uh, ambitious video group uh and this isn't rocket science but we're going to go here and we're going to find our video we're going to upload a video we're going to find the video that hopefully I downloaded this morning. I did. Here we go. And we're going to open that. And it should start loading. Uh, I wrote some copy earlier this morning that I'll walk you through, like how I wrote it, why I wrote it. But that way you didn't have to sit here and watch me uh, write stuff. So 
Um, so here is the description that is for the video. So I like doing longer form posts. So this is a longer form post. Uh, and uh, so, you know, the copy here says, uh, do you have a field of dreams mentality for your business and your marketing? Do you think that just because you have a great product or service, people will just magically find it and want it? Do you think that Facebook should just make your posts and videos go viral? That's not how it works. You have to market and promote the heck out of what you do and display the ways that can help your marketplace. That starts by creating content that add value and grab attention, but without marketing that content, it's going to fall on deaf ears. If you do nothing, nothing is going to happen. And if you want a place to start, a place to get ideas and an outline to create your content uh, and videos your market actually wants to watch, make sure you grab a copy of the Ambitious Video Planner here, uh, and then I have the link. This is important. Always put your call to action link in, uh, in the actual uh, post itself. Um, so because people will sometimes read the post and then they'll click on the link from right here. Uh, so instead of just the button, I, I always make sure that I put the link itself in the post. Now you can also notice this is like longer form copy. This isn't super long form um, as uh, you know, you know, just writing like paragraphs and paragraphs, but it's not just like one sentence or two sentences. I'm trying to draw people in. The other thing that I'm going to do, uh, and I couldn't do it in where I wrote it, but I'm going to add some emojis to this. Uh, I'm going to add some question marks. So that people are, uh, you know, kind of these check marks, if you will, um, to the post itself. So let's see if that worked. Boom. Let's add another one here. And let's add another one here. And then for here, uh, um, that's not how it works. I want to call some attention to that. So maybe I'll do one of these uh, like stop sign kind of things. And I'll do another stop sign thing over here. Again, you, you feel free. Like if you're like a financial advisor dealing with like retirees, you might not want to put as many emojis as I am. But I'm not putting like any crazy ones. I'm just really trying to draw attention. And so even here where I have this arrow uh, graphic, I'm going to go ahead and switch it out for an arrow uh, emoji. And now my post has a little bit of life. I'm always going to title the video. Um, and I'm just going to say how to get people to watch um, your videos. So that's the title. Um, you can add some tags here. So I usually do like entrepreneurship and startups. Um, this one, I might also just see like business advancement is another good one, uh, local and small businesses. I don't really know what this does, uh, you know, but uh, you know, Facebook tells me that they want it. So I'm going to do it. Now the video that we did already has the headline at the top and the captions on the bottom. I know some of you guys have asked about subtitles and captions, uh, over here on the right hand side, you can, uh, either upload captions, like if you went to rev.com and you got SRT files, you can add them there. Um, but Facebook will also auto generate your captions. You cannot do this on mobile. It has to be done on a desktop. Um, and you have to do it, I think through business manager, and then you can auto generate. So it, their artificial intelligence will listen to your video and then you can edit it if you want to, because they always misspell things like proper nouns and names uh, and things like that. So um, I already have my captions in, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, here's one thing that I am going to look to do on the thumbnail uh, is because um, you never want too much text on your videos because Facebook doesn't like that. So I'm going to choose a frame that has the least amount of text. Um, so what I mean by that is usually like in the first second of the video uh, or in other places of the video. See on the bottom, now there's two lines of text. Uh, in other places, there's like one line of text. I'm going to look for something that has like the smallest amount of text on it so that uh, they'll like my video better. It looked like it was more like in the front. Do, 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 do. Sorry, just going through this super quick. That's a good one. It's just got, you know, four words there at the bottom. So I'm going to save that. So that's going to be like the thumbnail now of the video. And let me just move this stuff out of the way. Just make sure. Uh, all I'm gonna do is hit next. Uh, then you get to your publishing options, so you can publish it now. You can schedule it for like this afternoon or for tomorrow. You can run a premiere, you can backdate it. I don't really care about any of that stuff. Um, I'm okay with all of this. Um, so we're gonna publish this thing now, and we're going to hit publish. So now it's going to upload this video, and the post is now processing. So uh, it's gonna take a minute or two for this video to process. It shouldn't take too long. Um, you can see it's preparing now. So while this thing is preparing, I'm going to uh, go ahead and just answer some questions. So I saw some coming in while we do that. Uh, but that's, that's how we post a video. And you can see like, 
in, in a couple seconds. We got that thing up. Now the video is on Facebook and it is on our page. Uh, so Jovan here, uh, great question. Should we upload raw video to Facebook or use all or YouTube video? Always upload it directly to Facebook. Facebook and YouTube do not like each other. They are competitors and they hide stuff when you just put like a link to a YouTube video or something. They don't like that. So you want to upload, always upload the video natively to Facebook. The other thing is we're going to now advertise this. So we want the video on Facebook so we get the benefit of all the stats and they can track everything and they can see what is happening. So always, always, always upload the video directly to Facebook. Always upload the video directly to LinkedIn. Always, never just upload to YouTube and then just take the YouTube link and, and and share it in other places. Now, you can share it in like a tweet, you can share it like by embedding it onto your blog post. Like there are, you, you should share the YouTube link, but if you want the most mileage out of this, make sure that you're always taking the the video and uploading it natively to every single platform. So that was, um, that's pretty cool. All right, so now we, uh, let me go back to uh, Firefox. So look, boom, so here is the video. It is now live on Facebook. So you can see what it looks like. Uh, it takes a little while for uh, the HD compression to come in, but at least the video is up here. Um, and so you can see here's everything. And then here is the ambitious video planner. Now this isn't like being advertised or anything right now. This is just on my actual business page. That's all that we have done so far is we have a video that is now on our business page. Now we wanna go ahead and advertise that. So here's what I don't want you to do, is click this blue button that says boost post. That is not what we wanna do. That's what I was talking about just a second ago. That's gonna give you, that's not gonna give you the targeting options, that's not gonna give you uh, any of the options that you need in order to optimize an ad. Uh, I know that boosting a post is easy, but easy doesn't mean effective, right? Easy doesn't mean that it's what you actually needed to do to grow your business. So, um, you know, really, really powerful uh, to, to make sure that you do this correctly and create a business manager and create an ads manager account. Um, so let's go ahead and now I'm going to jump into my ads account. So here is the ads account that we uh, run all of our stuff from. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create, uh, so you have three kind of things here. You have campaigns, you have ad sets, and ads. Um, so campaigns, how I look at it is that's like the big picture. So the campaign that I'm gonna start here uh, is like you know uh, video promotions, right? And I'm gonna have all the different ads for the different videos that I wanna promote. Then the ad set, uh, I usually do it based on targeting. So my ad set could be for financial advisors or for dentists or for real estate agents or for whoever. And then the ad is the actual ad itself. So that's kind of how I think of it. There's other ways you can break it down, but that's kind of how I like it. So I'm in campaigns and I'm going to create a brand new campaign. So again, I'm going to walk you through all of this from scratch. I am flying blind, meaning that there's probably some things that are going to come up, but the cool thing is we're going to overcome that. So when you run through ads manager, and let me make this just a little bigger for you guys, um, is you get to choose a campaign objective. This is something that you do not get when you boost a post. So you can have just brand awareness and reach, don't really recommend those things, but you could do it based on that. Now, uh, what we're gonna do here today is we are going to choose either an engagement consideration or a video view. So when you click over this, uh, it means that you're gonna show people video ads uh, in here. Uh, it's For engagement, it means that it's gonna show and optimize your ad to be shown to people who are going to like it, who are gonna respond, who are gonna comment, who are gonna share, who are gonna watch. So people who are likely to engage with your content. With video views, they're going to optimize it for people who like to watch videos. Therefore, they're gonna show it to people. Now, liking and watching videos doesn't always equate to clicking on links and stuff like that. So I usually pick an engagement campaign, but for the sake of this, pick whichever one you want, um, but I'm gonna go with engagement. Now, there's other campaigns, and this is what we run when we're running direct response ads, is we're always running it based on conversions, but right now, what we are doing is we are going to, we're just trying to get our video seen by our target audience, um, and so that's what we are going to do here. Um, so that's what I'm going to click on the button. Uh, Kendall, just real quick, I'll answer your question. It says, financial advisor cost per result is more than the cost of the book itself. Yeah, so that's what we covered yesterday in in the live training on funnels. So uh, we lose, uh, so it costs us about $49 to sell a $10 book. So that's why we have all of the upsells in order to get our average order value close to break even. So that's our goal with our funnel. Doesn't mean it has to be yours, um, but with ours, yeah, the cost, it, it costs a lot of money to sell a $10 book. Um, and so that's why you have all the upsells in the funnel. We covered a lot of that in yesterday's training. So make sure you go and check that out. All right, so jump it back here. So we're gonna go to the engagement campaign. We're going to click continue. And now it starts to build out our campaign, our 
our ad sets in our ads. Uh, and so now we have lots of different things. So we have uh, a new campaign. So we're gonna give the campaign a name. So let's just call this uh, field of dreams, uh, you know, field of dreams video campaign. So this is our Field of Dreams video campaign. Um, again, a lot of this, I don't mess with a whole lot of stuff. So uh, buying type is an auction, page engagement, great. I'm not gonna really do A-B testing. Uh, campaign budget optimization, I'm gonna turn on. We only have one ad, uh, but here is where we're gonna set a daily budget. So uh, let's just do something like, we're gonna spend $10 a day um, to get people to see this. Um, so that's all I'm going to do here. So I got to move some stuff around so that I can see what I am doing. Um, now we're going to go into our ad set, which is the next place in this. So now we go into our ad set. And in our ad set, this is where we're going to start to choose some more things within this. So again, this is going to be a uh, field of dreams. And this is going to be, let's just do it to financial advisors. So now I know that I'm going to target financial advisors in here. Uh, I'm going to start it right now. Uh, I don't like sending an end date uh, because then Facebook isn't going to optimize your ad as well as if there's no end date. Um, but you can still like manually turn it off whenever that you want. Um, for the sake of this conversation, I'm going to create a new audience and not use a custom audience because that wouldn't help anybody on this. Um, because you can just go in here and I, can, I already have all my financial audiences saved, so I could just go ahead and do that. So you can see like we have a ton of audiences that I can just pick and choose from whenever I want because we've been doing this for a long time. That doesn't help you. So I'm gonna go ahead in here and, and optimize this. So age, I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to drop this to 35. Um, to 65, uh, all genders is cool, detailed targeting, this is where we're going to jump in and do a lot of stuff. So here, uh, I'm going to mostly do like occupation. So um, job titles, financial advisor, you can see there's 344,521, that's great. So we'll add that one. I'll ask uh, Facebook for some suggestions. Um, so a personal financial advisor, that sounds cool. Um, a wealth management advisor, that sounds cool. An independent financial advisor. Um, what else do we have? Do we have a financial planner here as a job title? I have a certified financial planner as a job title. Um, I got a wealth management advisor. So now I've added all of these different folks. Um, and now you can see that uh, our potential reach for some reason is only 15,000 people. So I got to figure out why that just happened. Um, Um, and as of right now, spending $10 a day, you can see that we are going to reach anywhere from 690 to 2000 people, and we're going to have 37 to 106 engagements. So 37 to 106 likes, comments, shares, things like that. So for $10 a day, we're going to reach somewhere between 700 and 2000 people. Totally cool. I am good with that. Um, how you can expand on this is by clicking this detailed targeting expansion. Uh, so it says reach people beyond your targeted uh, detailed targeting selection where it's likely to improve performance. I'm going to click that and that's going to boost my audience uh, big time because now my potential reach is basically 130 million people. Now it's not gonna show it obviously to 130 million people, um, but it also now, uh, because my pool is bigger, what you actually want, this is weird, this is like counterintuitive. You want more people in your potential reach because that allows Facebook's algorithm to optimize your ads for the people who are most likely to do what you want them to do. In this case is engage with you. If you only had like 300 people there, Facebook can't optimize your ad. It's just gonna show it to all 300 people whether they are good or not. So now my reach is 130 million people instead of whatever it was, 13,000 people. Now it's really gonna find the people that are most likely to engage with my ad. And again, what I like to do is I like to use my video let me come off that for a second so you can see. So what I like to do is I like to use my video to screen people. So meaning, uh, you know, we have a, a real estate agent right now who only wants to deal with like lakefront properties. So in the video itself, she's saying, you know, if you're looking for a lakefront home and yada yada. Now, if someone watches a three minute video about lakefront homes, they're now qualifying themselves by watching the video. If someone isn't gonna buy a lakefront home, they're not gonna watch a three, four, five minute video about lakefront homes. So you show the ad to these people and then they qualify themselves by raising their hand. They raise their hand by actually watching the video. So that's what we are doing there. So let me come back here. Sorry, there's just a ton of stuff on my screen today. Um, we have the audience uh, placements. I do manual placements since we are doing video. I don't want my video everywhere. So uh, we are not going to do audience network and we're not gonna do stories and things like that. I do want it on the news feed. I do want it on the Instagram feed. I do want it on there. Uh, Instagram explore, I don't want. 
Uh, I took stories out. I don't want stories in stream. I'm okay because this is where people are already watching videos and then my video will play. Uh, in article, I'm going to take off too because someone's reading an article. I don't think that they're going to care to watch my video, so I take that off. So really, we got the Facebook feed, the Instagram feed, um, Facebook video feeds, and then in stream is where I'm running this. Uh, you know, again, just think about it. If I'm trying to get them to watch a two, three minute video, if they're reading an article, are they going to stop really to watch my two, three minute video? Probably not the best place for them to see that. Um, you know, this is a three minute video. So like Facebook stories, Instagram stories are only going to play the first 10, 15 seconds or 15 seconds. So again, not a great place for this type of uh, video. So that's what we're going to do there. Um, and now we are going to go to next and now we are going to build the actual ad itself. This is the easiest part because you've already built the ad. It's the actual post that we have already created. So we are going to come in here. We got the right Facebook page and then we're going to use an existing post. So now all we got to do is select the post and we're going to select the post that we already created today. So we're going to click this. We're going to hit continue. And now our ad is basically already built. So we don't have to go in and now write copy or do anything or test 87 different images. We are want people to see the video that we already put out into the marketplace. Terry, you got a great question. I'm going to answer that in just a second. So now here is a preview of what our ad looks like. What we want to do over here, we can add captions, things is we want to add a button. This is super important. So this is your call to action. So we want to add a button. So you could do learn more. You can do all of these different things. I always pretty much just use learn more. And this is where you're going to put wherever you want people to go. So I want people to go to the ambitious planner.com and I will update the post. And now when everything updates, you'll see that now there is a button underneath the video do 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 do, do as it refreshes. Now there is the learn more, how to get people to watch your videos, the title of the video, the ambitious planner, they click learn more and now they go. Um, and that is it. That is all we're gonna do. We're going to hit publish and that's all we do to run the ad. That's all that we do to now get people to watch our video for, uh, you know, couple pennies a piece. Now, obviously we're going to monitor it. We're gonna look at it. Um, my baseline kind of metrics on this, if you will. So you can see here, uh, everything is good to go. I'm going to go to campaign. The ad has been uploaded and you can see that now it is in review, right? So now Facebook's going to take, I don't know, anywhere from five minutes to five days because uh, it's Facebook. Uh, hopefully it'll happen. If it happens during this live thing, that'd be awesome. But uh, I don't expect it to. But now the ad is up and it's running uh, and we can start to, you know, see a whole lot of things. And it was literally that fast. We have the call to action in there. So now we're driving people to the landing page to hopefully generate leads. The other thing that we want to do uh, in this is uh, something that's a little more advanced. And if you're in the velocity course, this is something that we teach is we can go and we can retarget people who actually watch the video. So let's say your video is three minutes long. You can retarget people who watch the video for, uh, you know, three seconds, 10 seconds, 50%, 75%. So someone who watches, you know, one of Terry's videos, you know, uh, on, on different things that he's doing in his marketplace, you can then retarget someone who watches, let's say 50% of that video and say, Hey, thanks so much for watching my video. You know, why don't you schedule a session to see how we can help you get rid of your student loans as, as, as an, as associate or, you know, whatever the case is. So you can retarget. That's an advanced strategy that we teach in the velocity training program. Uh, and it's something that we help all of our clients to do, uh, in velocity. So that is, uh, I know like you might be underwhelmed with what just happened. But that's how quick you should be generating your ads. Now that was, again, to get people to see your video with a call to action. That wasn't necessarily a direct conversion campaign, a direct conversion campaign where you're saying, I'm running this ad and I wanna know how much it costs to generate a customer, how much it costs to generate a lead, things like that. Um, Again, those are things that we teach all of our folks in Velocity. So make sure if you guys have not joined yet, you guys do join. There is uh, the, the the text number 321-326-9910. But if you are trying to build an audience and get that audience to take action, what I just shared with you will work like gangbusters. And for $10 a day, I'm now reaching 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 people for $10 a day to get them to watch my videos. Uh, and then I'm building audience that I can retarget off of. So much cool stuff can happen. Uh, and if you'd love to have me working with you on your ads, looking in your ad campaigns, making sure that things are set up properly, making sure your pixels are firing, making sure, uh, as Hugh just said, I've been doing this all wrong. Well, in Velocity, we'll make sure that you do not do it wrong. 
but you can learn more at 321-326-9910, the number that I have on the screen. If you guys have questions, I'm going to go ahead and answer them now, and then I'm just going to tell you a little bit more about Velocity, um, but that's, uh, that's really all I got for today, because again, I don't want you to make this that difficult. I went in, I chose my ad my ad type right my my campaign objective which was an engagement campaign i want people who are going to engage with the video that i created i went in and i created the campaign i created my audience and i just went down by job title made it super easy for myself um again you could do something like people that you know are a certain age that live within a certain you know uh mileage from your office you could do something like that um but just quickly go your video is gonna allow them to raise their hand and say that they're interested. So if you get a couple people that aren't necessarily in your market watching your video, totally cool. It's costing you about a penny, two, two cents, right? Totally cool. Um, and then you go and you pick the post that you have already created. That way you don't have to test like 97 different images, things like that. We just want people to watch the video. And we want people to see Terry. We want people to see Robert. We want people to see Hugh. We want you know people to see Tasha. We want them to see your face so that they build that no like trust. Uh, they're like, wow, this person's giving some great insight. And then they kind of take the next step. Uh, so let's go through questions, guys. Fire them away. I'm going to go uh, scroll back up um and kind of go through this um i think you have different video planners targeting different targets do you use separate ad account uh for each video planner target no i use the same account i use just different campaigns so i have a campaign for financial advisors a campaign for real estate a campaign for dentists a campaign for coaches and experts so um not different accounts different campaigns that we run to uh there so that's that's how we break those down um uh, Peter, yep, yeah, Facebook isn't kind to YouTube videos. They are not. That's definitely best to do that. Uh, Facebook uh, auto caption is awesome. I just have to correct the words. Yeah, so I don't love Facebook auto caption, but it is the cheapest, fastest way to do things. Um, I would still recommend like a rev.com. Uh, they're like a dollar per minute. I think they just raised their price to like a dollar 25 per minute. But if you only have a two minute video, it's like 250 to get it transcribed by rev. Uh, to me, that's worth it because you get human editors and, and they're pretty good. So uh, Robert said that was fast. That's what velocity is about, man. That's what velocity is about. It's about speed. Uh, Facebook uses square video instead of wide. How do you convert your landscape video to a square video? Um, so most editing programs uh, will allow you to do that these days. So if you have uh, like Final Cut or uh, you're using uh, like Adobe Premiere, you can just change the size to a 1080 by 1080 as opposed to a 1920 by whatever, 1280, that whatever that one is. Um, 1080 by 1080 is the square size. You just change the, the, the size of the canvas that you're working on. Um, alternatively, this is a service that we do for clients. We have a virtual video program. If anybody's interested in that, just send me a message. Uh, and I'm happy to tell you that's a program where we tell you what videos to shoot every uh, every month. Uh, we edit them all for you into all three sizes. So we do uh, wides, we do squares, and we do verticals for you. Uh, and then you get to join all the coaching calls that we do uh, for our Velocity members as well. So you get coaching on, on all that. So it's a really cool program. Happy to tell you more about that. But uh, And the other thing is you can use an app like uh, we shared it the other day. It was called Zubtitle, Z-U-B-T-I-T. TLE, they'll do the square stuff for you as well. Um, answered that. Uh, so the audience expansion does not dilute your targeting. So from my understanding, and we are now using this in, in our ads where we're trying to go broad, where we, we do need a larger audience, we are using it. Um, we, we do have it turned on. And what we are seeing is that Facebook is optimizing your ads for your ideal prospect first. So like what you saw me pick like all those different kinds of financial advisors. And then once they start to see some traction, once they start to see some conversions, once they start to see some results, they start saying, oh, well, these people are kind of like those people. Let's show the ad to a couple of those people so that you have a wider pool to play with. Um, so in, in your case, Terry, because you're going after such a specific target, I'm not sure that I would do that. I think that I would just really look at attorneys who are a certain age, you know, that they just got out of college, uh, you know, went to a certain college, have a certain degree, you know, something like that. I don't think I would open up the targeting for what you do. Uh, that just doesn't make sense for what I do. You know, if I'm showing my stuff to like financial advisors and like an estate planning attorney sees it or a CPA sees it. Totally, I'm good with that because I can help that person too. Whereas if your ad then gets you know shown to, to somebody who's not in your marketplace, uh, it doesn't really, really help. So um, Hugh, uh, I've been doing this all wrong. Should we combine Facebook with IG? So A, never use the word boost. We're getting rid of that word from our vocabulary. We are going to run an ad and we are going to run an ad campaign. And I, I get it that it's technical. There's things that you're like, I don't wanna learn this stuff. You have to learn this stuff. Boost, remove that word from your vocabulary. We are running campaigns. Um, 
And so um, we, the, the question there is, should we combine Facebook with IG? Yes and no. If the ad creative translates to both Facebook and Instagram, then yes. Meaning if you're running like an image ad and it's a square, well, that works on Instagram. If you're running a five minute video ad, doesn't really work on Instagram because Instagram videos can only be 60 seconds. Doesn't make sense to do it on Instagram story. So we typically will break out our creative and run specific campaigns for like IG stories. So like one of our best IG stories are like this, you know, you can do the swipe up thing on IG stories. So I'll film a vertical video just for uh, an Instagram story ad. Like, hey guys, it's Greg. And if you're trying to create video, you definitely want to get one of these, an ambitious video planner. All you gotta do is pay 10 bucks. I'll ship it anywhere in the country, swipe up to learn more. And I'll do, but now it's native for Instagram stories and it converts so much better versus taking something that you made for Facebook and throwing it to Instagram. So it depends on what you're trying to do. Um, Colin, another member of Velocity, thanks for joining this week, my friend, says, uh, that has blown me away and we'll be launching this weekend using my video I shot this week. Hell yeah, I love that, speed, amazing. Uh, Joe says, I believe you can do that in subtitle, yep. Um, Patty says, uh, gonna have to watch this a couple of times. And the cool thing, Patty, you have a, a lot of in-depth stuff on this in the Velocity program, and this is always something that you can bring to one of the Monday coaching calls and say, hey, Greg, I launched an ad, did I do it right? Did I do it wrong? Or, you know, whatever that it is. So um, feel free, uh, again, she's now a member of the Velocity program. So this is something on a Monday, you can come and say, hey, Greg, uh, I launched this ad on Friday, it's now Monday, uh, I'm spending 10 bucks a day, we spent $30, what the heck happened? Uh, did it work? Did it not work? Am I on the right track? And I can come and we can share screens and I can see what you're doing and we can re-optimize your ads. Or I can say, hey, Patty, let it roll for a couple more days and, and let's get some more data um, as long as you're, you're, you're okay with that. Um, but this is the kind of thing that you can bring to the coaching calls. And if you join as a founding member, you get 12 months of coaching calls um, included. So 52 weeks, 52 calls that you get when you join the program. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about Velocity, you can text 321-326-9910. My team will get you all that info. But, um, but that's kind of the cool thing about the program is that you get us every single week looking over your shoulder, me acting as like your chief marketing officer, as your copywriter, as your as your ad specialist to say, hey, Patty, you're on the right track or, you know, hey, Joven, you're on the right track or, you know, hey, Tasha, you're on the right track or let's course correct. You know, we looked at the data, we spent some money, didn't go the way that we wanted or, you know, it could be better, could be improved, it could be optimized. We get to do all of that. Uh, Robert says, joining Velocity now. Yes, uh, join Velocity now, man. I, I know you've been here most days this week, so I think that that was... Um, you know, uh, we taught some really, really cool stuff this week. And if you liked what you heard this week, um, you know, the program's even better. So I um, would love to have you in there. Uh, Gabriel says, what is your recommended budget to get about 25,000 to 50,000 views? People advertise up to start. Um, so it's just math, right? So if it costs about, let's use two cents a view, right? So if to get your video seen on Facebook, which is, by the way, only a three second view. I mean, someone watch your video for three seconds. So when you see your view count uh, and it says like 8,000 views, um, the minimum view is three seconds on Facebook. On YouTube, it's 30 seconds, but on Facebook, it's three. So uh, in order to get 25,000 people to watch your video, do the math backwards. 25,000 people divided by two cents. I can't do that math whatsoever, uh, but that's the math, right? So that's how much you would spend. Now, you could do that by spending $10 a day for, uh, let's call it a month, to get the $25,000 number, you can spend $100 a day, you can spend $1,000 a day, so you can accelerate it based on your budget, but it's just it's just reverse engineering the math. If it's costing you about two cents to get a view, well, then how many two cent views do you want? So just reverse engineer that number. Um, Colin, if I have business pages already, do I need to upgrade to a, uh, no. So, well, you need a business manager account. And then what you do is you just link your current pages to that business manager account and to that ads manager. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so just create a business manager account and it's gonna, it's gonna already know like what pages are yours and you just, you just connect them and they walk you through it way better than I'm explaining it. So, uh, you could do that. Um, Joe says, I know she said five to eight minutes snackables, but then later heard. So, uh, for a snackable video, 90 seconds to, to, to three minutes is going to be the best 90 seconds to three minutes. Uh, uh, the cool thing is in, oh man, week three, 
of Velocity. Week three of Velocity, I break down snackables every which way. And also when you join uh, the Velocity program, which I know that you did, you have an entire course in the Velocity Vault. So the cool thing, when you join Velocity, you also get access to all my other trainings and programs. And so one of them is called the Snackable Branding System, and it's all snackable, it's all snackable video related. You have that unlocked immediately when you join. You don't have to wait for that to unlock, you know, weeks down the road. You get that immediately. So the snackable branding system, 90 seconds to three minutes is the ideal for like a Facebook, a LinkedIn uh, type snackable video. Uh, that tan virtual video is great. Uh, Terry makes sense. Peter, uh, I've watched many of, they're all. So now you guys have been watching my videos all week. Um, I don't have a shortage of words, right? Meaning like all these videos are supposed to be like 30 minutes. I think every single one of them has been over an hour. So, um, you know, if you go over three minutes, there's no like, you know, no one going to be like, you know, Peter, your video is three minutes and 30 seconds. You know, you're a terrible person. Like, you know, if you, if you have really good stuff to share, people will watch. Like we, you know, you guys are proof of the pudding. It's like, you guys are all busy people. You're financial advisors, your real estate agents, your attorneys, your coaches, your, uh, you know, doctors. And you, you know, you've spent five, six hours with me this week. So if you have good stuff to share, people will stick around. If you're not adding value, it could be a 30 second video and they're bailing. So Dan Kennedy always says it can never be too long, only too boring. So as soon as you start losing your audience, it's too long. But if you are telling cool stuff, like you can get away with doing four minute videos, five minute videos, totally cool. But if you're boring the heck out of somebody, they're gonna bail early. Uh, Hugh says, thank you. Um, Terry says, what's the best way to submit questions for Monday coaching calls? Uh, the, uh, this is the, the super technical way, uh, is either you can just send me an email, greg at ambitious.com, uh, and just put, uh, you know, like a Monday question in, in the subject line, or you can go in the private members Facebook group and you can ask your question there, but, uh, we make it super simple. Uh, and, and, uh, Peter kind of jumps in here and says, uh, they're live. You can also ask live so we can bring you on. I can unmute your mic. We can share your screen. We can do all that kind of stuff. Uh, but if you want to get something in the queue or get me thinking about something, Thing before uh, all you have to do is send me an email we are uh we are setting up uh, a way for like a form thingy uh, very official naming convention there we are setting up a form where you can like you know officially submit stuff in advance but right now just send me a message or in the private facebook group you can do you can do that um either by email prior to the call if you want. yep so you guys are awesome fabulous um <laughs> gabriel says since cd programs are obsolete what format do you recommend if i want to upsell to a program a course an audiobook it doesn't matter. Um, however, you can get it get it down. Um, you know, MP3s, videos. Uh, it could be uh, it could be something like uh, you know downloads, PDFs. You know, just any kind of digital format. Um, you know, will will work for that. It, I wouldn't overthink that. Just whatever digital format of the version of whatever you're going to create is is totally cool. Um, and yes, there is a uh, Facebook group that is separate from this one. So this one is for uh, everyone in our world. This is a free group that people can join. Uh, we have the private group just for members. Uh, like, so yesterday, uh, just as an example, uh, I asked everybody, uh, you know, for like a midweek check-in or I think it was Wednesday. I don't know my days. Um, on Wednesday, like a midweek check-in and then immediately I'm, I'm filming videos for you guys, uh, you know, coming in, uh, you know, uh, Terry, you know, did his uh, four quadrants and, you know, we're helping people out. Uh, it's it's where I give the majority of my time and focus to my clients because you guys are, are my clients, the people who are in Velocity. So I would love to have you guys in there um, and, and join the program. Um, so it's really, really cool. Peter, uh, because of your training, uh, I posted videos every day. Viewers are asking me to start YouTube channels. People are getting value, but I'm sending five, six hours editing down to a five. Yeah, man. So a couple things uh, with that. So the question is, I'm spending five, six hours editing down to a five minute video. That's problematic because your time isn't best spent editing. So either A, outsource that. B, can you do something like go live? for you know five, six minutes on Facebook, um, and then you have to perform live. Uh, and then maybe you get it to a five to 10 minute video, and then you stop it, and then that's the video, and then you're not spending a bunch of time editing, because when you're live, people will forgive you for your ums and you knows and writes and you know stumbles and slips. I mean, Lord knows that the last five days, these haven't gone perfectly. Uh, the good news is I'm pretty good at, at, at doing this stuff, pretty good live, have pretty good energy, but they are far from perfect. So, but now I take this video, uh, we splice it out. We get it up to YouTube. Uh, we're turning them into trainings. Like this is going to be a really cool series for us that, that we make evergreen in the future where we change out the call to action. So um, a recommendation for you, Peter, is the more you do this stuff, 
the more you're on camera, the more you have something pointed at your face with a record button and you talk to it, the better that you are going to get. So next week, you're gonna be better than you were this week. Three weeks from now, you're gonna be even better. A month from now, two months from now, you're gonna be even better. And A, you're gonna start one taking it. Uh, the majority of folks that we work with and, and you know myself included, like we one take everything. And A, we know that it's not gonna be perfect, but perfect, you know, in, imperfect action is better than perfect inaction. And so people that are waiting for it to be perfect that end up doing nothing, um, it's not good for your business. But people who take action, even if it's not perfect, you know, you're already seeing it. Like people are asking you for more. Now, the one thing I'll tell you, Peter, and I'll tell you this, uh, and he's a member of Velocity, uh, I would say, dude, have an offer. The offer could literally be to jump on a call with me and I'll coach you for free. It could be something, but find a way to make offers so you can move your business forward. Uh, Trevor said, I joined Velocity this morning. Man, that's awesome. Congrats, man. I'm super excited. I know you've been here a few days this week, so thank you so much. Uh, Terry says, perfect is the enemy of good. Really, really cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead uh, for people that uh, haven't joined, which is pretty much everybody on this call uh, who's here live, but I know there's a lot of people who've been watching the replays. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do uh, my quick little uh, like four slide presentation to talk a little bit more about Velocity. And I, I really do appreciate you guys here. I do appreciate you guys for joining. It, it, it really does mean the world to me that you guys are trusting me to help you grow your business and we're gonna do it and we're gonna do it at warp speed. So really fun. So uh, Velocity is our flagship coaching and training program uh, and it helps people to create profits in any expert business at warp speed. That is the number one thing is I want you doing revenue generating, profit creating uh, activities in your business. So even like Peter, I was just like getting on him. I'm like, man, have an offer because Putting out videos is cool. Building an audience is great, but I can't take that to the bank. I can't take likes and shares to the bank. You know what I can take to the bank? Ter Trevor, who just joined the Velocity program. Terry, who joined the Velocity program. And two things happen. I can now, you know, have, you know, the ability to generate revenue. But the second thing is that now I can, I can go all in and help and help folks. And so you have to find the activities that are actually going to generate revenue. Um, I love you guys. I love doing these five live streams. Did not do it you know, out of the, only out of the kindness of my heart. We did this as a launch strategy to get people into our Velocity program. Now, a byproduct of that is I helped a ton of people who are never gonna join, who got a ton of value out of this program. I'm great with that because I like adding value. I like teaching and training, but we have to start doing the activities that are gonna actually grow our business. So we're not spinning on the hamster wheel. What I don't want to happen is for you to be on a loop where you say, you know what? I'm gonna start my thing tomorrow. I'm gonna launch that thing tomorrow. I'm gonna do that thing tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes and you say the same thing. Ah, things got in the way. Ah, things got in the way. We really need to get you moving and growing at warp speed. That's what this program is all about. It's to stop the overthinking, the procrastination, the perfectionism, and get you results fast by doing the things that actually generate revenue and profits in your business. And we're gonna get you to start doing them immediately. Not three months from now when my website's good and ready to go. Not, not you know, uh, once, I, once I film 30 videos, then I'll make an offer. No, make an offer now. Let's go ahead and rock uh, and, and do this stuff. It's gonna be a shift in your mindset because you've probably been a ready fire, a ready aim fire person for a really long time. You get excited and then you aim all of this stuff. Um, we need to fire and then we need to fix as we go. And we're gonna give you the tactical skills to do that. And there are actually five tactical skills necessary to grow your business at warp speed. Now, these aren't the only five things you ever need to do in your business, but if you need revenue and you need profits, which is the only reason like we're in business, right? Is to generate profit by adding value to the world. You need these five things. You need to get people to know who you are and what you do. And you do that through content, through videos like I'm doing here, through like the videos that Tasha sent this week, through the videos that Peter's doing that are getting great response. We do it through content. That's how we get people to know who we are and what we do to build that massive goodwill and value. But then we need to have products so that people know like how to pay us. And uh, Peter just chimed in and said, you know, I'm having a huge block about my offer. Well, you need a product. Like, how are people going to pay you, right? And then what's the offer for that product? We create desire and demand through an offer. You know, people didn't wake up to sit today and say, I want 87 MP3s to listen to or 16 videos to go through and even 12 weeks of a program. What you want is profits at warp speed. That's the offer. It's the sexiness around your product. But it's not just sending one email or making one attempt. It's a campaign, it's a funnel, it's a process to move people from window shoppers to prospects to customers and clients. We're gonna show you exactly how to do that and, and things to model in your business. And then you get to control your future using ads. Uh, and that's what we covered here today during this session is look, if we know that we can spend a dollar on Facebook and we're gonna get two bucks back, how many dollar bills can we find? Then we can control our destiny and control our future. Now it's not always that simple, I get it, 
But that philosophy is what I want you to understand. It's not he who will spend the least. It's he who can spend the most, sustain that and build their business. And it's all about building that machine of content, of products, of offers, of funnels, and of ads that's gonna allow you to generate customers every single day. And then you're gonna have questions about implementation, about scale, about technology, about accountability, about building your offer. Did I do the video good? Is my ad set up the right way? Well included as a founding member is 12 months of hands-on coaching. We do this every single Monday. We do it at two o'clock Eastern. You can submit your questions in advance. You can jump on live. You can watch the recordings and get me to work on your business every single week. As a founding member, you get 12 months of that. Uh, once this founding member offer expires today at 5 p.m., uh, it's only gonna be 12 weeks during the 12 weeks of the program. But if you join today, you're going to get 12 months of that, getting me work on your business for an entire year. You're going to get to jump into the Velocity Vault, which has more than $6,000 worth of trainings and courses like the Snackable Branding System that I mentioned to Jovan earlier. And you get to join our Inner Circle Facebook community, which is separate from the one you're watching this in now. It's just for my clients uh, who are at the uh, who are in the actual program. So I can just give you all of my time and attention uh, and, and really, really to help you out. So really cool there. Uh, you guys have been amazing who have jumped in this week. Uh, you know, something uh, that you guys have been saying this week you know, Tosh said, I want to say for anyone who has not invested in the paid version, do it by Friday, just finished week three. And I've gotten more done that actually makes sense than any other course I've invested in. I can't even calculate how much time and money I've wasted on courses and seminars to try and figure this stuff out. This is an all hands on deck results producing course. I know it sounds cliche, but I believe it's the best investment for yourself and your business. Streamlined, effective, and fast. I can't thank Greg and his team enough. Thank you, Tasha. You're amazing. Uh, Dr. Tan says, great program. Greg, I would take you up on this offer. It was not in already, and he is in, uh, and so has his wife. They both signed up to the program. Uh, Steve says, Greg's program gives you the framework you need to make it happen. I've taken a ton of courses over the years. Greg pulls it all together. Uh, and Tasha, I love this said about the coaching calls. The bonus of the weekly coaching calls is huge. Don't miss that. I'm so glad I got in the founding offer for that. Yes, I am glad that you got in as well. So here's the deal. Until Friday, which is today. Today is Friday. Today's the day. Uh, 5 p.m. Eastern. The reason I do it at 5 p.m. Eastern is because that's when I turn off for the day and I spend the rest of the evening with my family. Uh, so that's when we're going to turn the offer off because I don't want to be answering questions at dinner and things like that tonight. Five o'clock Eastern is the deadline. You can lock in founding members pricing, which gives you a thousand dollar discount. You're gonna get 12 months of coaching included as a bonus, and you're gonna get everything for only $9.99. $9.99 gets you everything. If you do need a payment plan or a payment option, just text the number that I'm about to put on the screen and just ask for the payment option. We have a two pay and we have a six pay available, but you gotta ask for it, um, you know, because A, I think the investment at 999 is amazing, uh, but if you need, I, and totally, look, I get it. I like to cash flow things too. Uh, I, I, I never, ever, ever wanna put someone in a position where they are financially like, you know, now they can't even eat because of this. If that's you, just go back and watch these five free trainings that I did for you this week. There's more than enough to get you started. But if you want that next level stuff and you're not gonna, you know, put yourself in a terrible position financially, never want you to do that. You know, $9.99, you know, most courses that you guys see online, don't offer the coaching, don't offer the support, don't have the guru or expert, whoever working in your business. And they're charging two, three, four times uh, what you're going to invest in this program. Um, so it's really cool, love for you to join. Uh, when we relaunch it next week, it's gonna be $19.99, so you get a $1,000 discount and the 12 months of coaching when you join by 5 p.m. Uh, and here is where you need to go, ambitious.com forward slash velocity is where you can sign up immediately, or you can text my team, 321-326-9910. Uh, myself, my team, we both monitor that, so you might be talking to me you might be talking to somebody on my team but regardless we'll uh we'll at we'll at, we'll get the questions that you need um all of that so um so i love that uh cool uh really cool let me get out of this really quick boom 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 boom, boom. uh where is ecam i don't have my fancy switcher thing today so i'm uh doing all this stuff on the fly all right so uh, again ambitious.com slash velocity or three two one three two six nine nine one zero uh this is awesome tanya says i am in and yes you are welcome to velocity thank you so much robert says i'm in robert welcome to velocity i appreciate you um value heart and integrity patty is in as well i'm so excited to have you on board colin came in this week said uh the training this week is certainly more than that so uh just like paying after the product yeah man uh you know we we always strive to go uh, you know to really help people as much as that we possibly can so um and that's what velocity is all about so i appreciate you guys hanging out this week it's been uh, an incredible week going live doing fun stuff and uh, I, I really want to see you guys in Velocity. It doesn't mean if you didn't join this week, I still love you. And we're still going to do stuff every day in this group. I just won't be going live like for 
you know, six, seven hours, whatever it ended up being this week, uh, we'll actually be helping everybody, uh, everybody in the program. So appreciate you guys. If you need anything, please go to ambitious.com slash velocity or text 321-326-9910. And uh, Tasha says, welcome to all, all the newbies. Uh, yeah, man, Tasha is Tasha's killing it right now. And I'm so excited for her as we put together her offer and her programs. Um, so appreciate you guys so much. And I will talk to you all real soon. Peace out. Thanks so much for checking out this episode of The Velocity Sessions. Please be sure to like this, share this, subscribe, leave a review. We would surely appreciate it. And more importantly, we hope that you use this information to start growing your business at warp speed.